So Erica Mena went on Instagram and she issued an apology to Spice. If y'all don't know, Erica recently called Spice a monkey on an episode of Love and Hip Hop. She went on Instagram and she wrote, I deeply regret my insensitive comments and want to humbly apologize to anybody I hurt or offended by my thoughtlessness. My choices of words was wrong and I take full responsibility of what I said. I am committed to listening to the voices of those affected and will work towards making amends. As a woman of color and the mother of two black children, I want to make it clear that my use of that word was not in any way racially driven. That said, I do understand the gravity of what I said and want to use my platform to promote inclusivity and equality sincerely erica mena so i'm glad erica apologized hopefully spice accepts her apology so let me just get into this real quick i see a few people saying that kids are off limits and they, they don't feel like i should have mentioned nothing about you know erica's son or whatever the case may be i did not say anything bad about erica's son I really wanted to come and say this so I can close the door and just, you know, I, I'm not going to keep talking about it. But I said, I feel like, like I said, because it happened to me, I just need to say my little thing and just move on from it. I see people saying, don't come for people, kids. Answer the question. What did I say about this child? What bad did I say about the child? What derogatory thing did I say about the child? I did not say anything at all bad about her son. And so when I see people commenting, you don't come for someone's kid. I'm like, where did I go miss? Because I never said nothing bad about the child. Now for you talking about kids are off limits and you don't bring up somebody's child. Obviously you did not watch the show, but you saw maybe 30 seconds on social media and you don't know what, you know, entirely what was going on. So let me just brief you. The conversation was about parenting. We were having a discussion and we were speaking specifically on single mother. If anybody out there remember the clip clearly, I said to Erica, you are acting like you're the first one to get divorced or whatever the case may be. And I'm going to tell you why I was saying these things. Because a lot of you, I realize you act on the 30 second that you see on social media or the one minute clip that you may see. And you don't understand that this is a show. There's other things that kind of goes to that little 30 second that you see. So I really just quickly say this to say that. I'm losing my train of thought because I have so much things to get off of my mind. But I really just quickly say this to say that when I was telling Erica that you're acting like, oh, you're the only person or whatever, whatever. She came to my gala. I just recently come from Miami. They gave me the keys to the region. Um, and, you know, she was there screaming, acting ballistic. And, you know, it was very embarrassing to how she was behaving in front of like the dignitary people. Um... There were 16 different mayors and vice mayors and people that was there looking at me crazy, like, what's going on? And she was just, you know, screaming ballistic and talking about safari and what the case may be. Um, and so I was trying to straightforwardly tell her, listen, it's hard for me to not look at you and tell you the truth that you can't uh, play a victim and a cry wolf when at the same time safari up on the other and so still sexually involved so it's like y'all divorced for one year but you're still sexually involved so it's like everything all over the place so it's like i'm like okay you are not the first person to be divorced i want you to pull yourself together my accent and my attitude may come off wrong sometimes because just just how i deliver things but is it a way of fake with somebody and uh, act like and then you go behind them back like some of you do on social media because i see the comments all the time telling somebody to get over it are you going to be just the, the 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 straight up person to say listen this is what it is you know what i'm saying that's really where the conversation was coming from there is no time at all you go into what we call filming when you hear me say filming it's that we know that camera is there there's at no given time we go into filming not knowing what we are going to discuss erica asked to speak to me because of 
what happened in Miami. She wanted to have a conversation with me and we all knew, you know, what happened in Miami. There was a picture with me and Amara La Negra and Safari and she felt some kind of way about it. She also felt some kind of way about these Rolexes that was given to Amara La Negra's kids. And I went and speak to Safari. And so she wanted to have a conversation with me. And so we went to that table knowing that we are going to have a conversation about parenting, single mother, um, you name it. Like we know what we're going to talk about. At no given time, we don't go into filming not knowing what the situation is. We're never blindsided. So let's just be very clear that Erica knows that she'd have come there, come talk to me about Amara La Negra's kids. She know that she was going to come and talk about parenting and who is paying child support from who is not paying child support from who is not that. I'm a type of person, I don't know how to be how you guys want me to be, which is I see that you guys want me to come off fake all the time because that's what you guys are used to. And so when I am this straightforward type of person that says it like it is, y'all come off like, oh my God, Spice is mean. But no, I'm not mean. I just don't know how to be that fake person that you want me to be. And so like I said, we went into the situation at the table knowing that we're going to talk about the obvious um you guys said i bring up somebody kid that was not the case as well if you watch back the clip again she said you are she said to me you're acting like if the if you if you if the shoes was on your foot you wouldn't feel some kind of way to the fact that i was telling her you know you need to stop acting like this you know so she said you act like if you if the shoes did dip on your foot you wouldn't feel some kind of way about this like i'm a single mom so you don't want me to talk about it or whatever and i replied to her and i said erica i have been a single mom for 14 years which at the time you know i should have said 15 but i said i have been in that situation what are you talking about not because I am not walking around and talk about it hasn't doesn't mean I have not been in that situation. I have been my son is 16 years old right now and I am a single mom who have been taking care of both of my kids since their birth and unfortunately I don't know what child support is. I've never gotten a child support. I've been doing it by myself and that's just what it is. I've and that's what Spice had to say in the comment section below. Please let me know how you feel about this whole situation. How did you feel when Erica Mena called Spice a monkey? Please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you for watching, everyone.